Keep doing it. Keep running. Keep running, see what happens to you, you numbskulls. <laughs> They're fucked. Oh, no good. Welcome back, everybody, to Zombie Night Terror. I'm your host, Falcon. If you recall, we actually covered this game a couple of months back in the channel. I had a lot of fun playing it. You guys enjoyed watching it as well. We actually covered the press demo of the game itself. By the time you see this video, the game should be live already on Steam, so just a bit of a heads up for you. Really fun title. Let's get into the game. <laughs> I love, I love the way they talk. It reminds me like a little bit of a cross from like Peanuts, like the Grown Ups and Peanuts and a bit of like South Park with the Canadians, especially how their mouths move. It's just really, really silly. It's a really silly game, a really fun, silly game that gets progressively more difficult as you go along as well. Let's get underway over here. Um, let's see. We have this guy over here munching on Romero, which is the, obviously, a bit of a reference this way to George Romero, I gotta say. But we have a drug that apparently turns people into zombies. They don't know that, but, you know, obviously we do. I like to start off with this map over here. Now, the reason why I do this is because this guy normally has a tendency to run back behind his door. And this is a door that's actually reinforced, so our Zambros cannot get in there. So we make him a zombie first, everybody's flushed out towards the right-hand side, and we get to get everybody. And the same thing I like to do over here, let's go ahead and start off with homeboy on this side. So my goal is to essentially flush everybody towards the center of the level. Nobody's getting away. Um, it's going to be really easy for this stage because it's more of a tutorial for you guys, obviously. But, um, oh, you guys are stuck in there. Somebody ran out and actually stuck my zombies in there. Now, the humans can indeed run in there as well again, and if they do that, they'll obviously have two zombies waiting for them right there. So, as you can see, that's coming along. We can go into fast speed as well. And there they open up the door! Oh, I forgot I had zombies in there because I'm a big dum-dum. And now you guys are dead. I'm over here, you can actually pause the game. Real time, fast forward. We'll be using fast forward a lot, but for this one, I figure we just go slow, show off some of the mechanics over here. Human skill 23. Remaining zombies, 23. Time, 1 minute, 16 seconds, and that is going to be our overkill. This is a really easy one to get, so I'm not going to pot myself in the back for that one, but, you know. Alrighty. Damn, that's a big-ass TV. What's it doing here? Turn it on. You turn it on. You know what? Let's just read it. Here we have April Fox. We are coming to you live from downtown, where it's believed the contamination started. Locals at the scene believe that the bizarre changes in the populace are from a defective batch of home-cooked drugs. Our investigation is ongoing. Stay with us. April Fox, ZNT News. Yes, that is going to be a reference to April O'Neil for sure. Although it's April Fox. Kind of like April O'Neil and Megan Fox. Although, didn't she play Meg April O'Neil as well? So, April, Megan Fox. Ah, whatever. I'm a bit confused, but whatever. Um, let's get on out of here. Uh-oh. Zambro coming at us. Now, over here, this guy had a gun, so he blew my Zambros away. No good, right? But we have one drug. Who do I give this to? The lady with no gun or the guy with the gun who's going to kill the lady? I think the choice is very clear. This is the choice right here. Let's go to time speed. Oh, baby, you screwed. You better run out that door. No? Okay. Now, we got two Zambros to our name. They'll smash this, wall, this door down over here, not a wall. Although, some will be able to actually do that. That was my bad. So over here, this is how you control your guys, kind of like lemmings in a sense, right? If this is over here is kind of like straight to the side, they will not go up the ladder or just come back and forth. That's a really good way to actually stall your zombies on occasion as well. But if you want them to go up, you definitely want to hit that. Some doors will have a little bit of a breaking logo, which you have to break down in order to get through a door. And some you can actually use it again to stall your zombies going forward. Here we have the Junkie Plague. Spread the Junkie Plague by killing 22 humans. Perfect assassin, kill every human without losing any zombies. A bit more of a difficult challenge, especially because some of these dudes... Potentially, this guy over here does have a melee weapon. Melee weapon is very good against zombies, especially the slow guys like these guys over here. So, this is kind of bad. Technically speaking, I would like to just 
infect the guys with the melee weapons. We have a dude with a gun over here, too. So, since we have two Zambros coming up this way, he's going to come over here and either run back or attack my bros. So, instead, I'm going to go ahead and infect you. So, you're not a hindrance to me. And over here, we have other guy with melee weapon, which scares me. As I mentioned, I'm going to try to be going after the perfect bonuses, but, you know, if I miss some, I do apologize, but... I won't just be content with just taking an easy win, I guess. Alrighty. So now we can pause here momentarily. They will probably run upstairs, and I think that's what we want to do. I don't want to deal with guy with gun just yet. So let's make sure our zombies go up instead. Alrighty. Yeah, silly fools, yeah. So we won't be breaking this one down just yet. Over here, we'll actually bring this door down, and this will be more mutations for us to use in the future. And since we have a couple of extra ones now, we gotta use these properly, mind you. Like, over here we have guy with gun and guy with melee weapon. These guys are going to be relatively safe to attack. Over here we have gun, gun, melee. And that is about it. And we have soon to be five mutations. That should be enough, I'm going to say. So, let's come over here and in fact you, you, and you. I'd rather you guys be out of the way now. And we have two left over here. There's one tactic we can do, and that is since we have two, we have this guy and this guy to worry about, and then this guy. We have three people to worry about, we only have two mutations. What I technically could do is let this guy get ambushed from the backside. Oh, I just realized we can't do that. The zombies up here are going to be stuck, so there's no ambush in this guy. Hmm, okay. Let's leave this guy alone for a while. I might have to kind of rethink the strategy now that I think about it. But before we even think about these guys up here, let's deal with this scenario on this side. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe with this one, I should have just infected two of them. That could have been enough. Maybe melee guy and one guy, one gun dude. Might be my mistake on that one. So, again, they're not going to break this door down until I ask them to. So for now, let's just go up the stairs. And I guess you guys go upstairs as well. Now, technically speaking, my mutation idea is still not out the door. What I could do, especially my ambush, I could just go ahead and infect him and hope that he breaks this door down with this guy noticing and then get him that way. That's one way to go about it. But honestly, melee dude worries me a lot more. And chances are, yep, that they spotted me already. So, let's go ahead and get him out of the way now. Crack this door open. And maybe we get him before he shoots? No! No! Ah, I brought him down. That's unfortunate. Alright, so we could already finish the level we wanted to. I'm not content with some people being alive here, though, so I'm not done just yet. Obviously, we have missed out on the perfect bonus, but... I still am not giving up on this one. We have one more over here, and I still want to kill the rest of these humans at the very least. Can't get the bonus, but I definitely want to get the extra points for killing the humans at the very least. So let's go ahead and break this door down. Everybody should be going downstairs again. Okay. Hmm. I've gotten a perfect on this one before, too. I just haven't played in a very long time, so I forgot how my order of um, infections were to play that one out. But you know what? Since I'm curious about it, let me infect this guy. Let me find out that would have been the right idea. Like, let him infect her, assuming she doesn't run out the door. And then we break this one out. So you know what? Let me hold off on you guys here. And you... No, no. You are not going to go up the stairs. I want to find out had I done it this way, with the ambush. My idea of the ambush instead. The other ways is probably have him get startled by having zombies coming down this way and that way. That would have been the other way to play that one out, too. Let's see. So we're coming back now. We have ordered the door to be... Broken down. We'll have the same over here. Actually, not all of them. That's good. Okay. Mmm, brought one of them down. Yeah! So, if we time it correctly so that they actually um, attack from this side, and then the ambush would basically work, because he's basically too preoccupied with the first zombies, you could actually get him from the back side. Okay, so that's another way to actually get the perfect on that one if you wanted to go about it that way. Noted. Duly noted. Let's go into fast speed here, and we should be done with that one. Oh, Zambros, I forgot. <laughs> They're going to go over here and jump to your debt. So that right there was actually a hazard. By allowing the zombies to go up here, they will break that door down and they'll jump back down. There's a way to change their pattern other than left and right, but that's actually introduced very soon with the overlords. But 
We'll talk about that next level. So that's done. Every human was killed, but unfortunately we didn't get the challenge because we lost a couple of Zambros. Alrighty. Gotta keep working on these. I'm so close. Hey, Einstein! Your Romero's fucking people up pretty bad. Why you want to make people lose their minds? It's called clinical trials, you degenerate gun monkey. Ever heard of the scientific process? Easy, Slick. I'm just saying, it's getting rough out there. Here we are, my next random recipe. Ahem, <laughs> improved formula. It's nearly ready. Mwahaha! <laughs> Alright, so over here we cannot get through these um, barricaded doors as we talked about, so we have to bring down this little generator up here. Now, to my knowledge... Oh, they'll go up the stairs just randomly? Huh. There should technically be an air over there to make them go back up, but I guess since it's the intro and like, kind of like quote-unquote tutorial for the Overlord, it'll automatically do it. But as you saw, we broke that down, now we have access to the laboratory here. Luckily for us... This numbskull is going to actually cause the fire, and there it is. He's now dead. And here's the scientist behind everything right there, and here's our Overlord formula. So essentially what these guys do is they will make you move left and right. So if you feel like, say, you're going down over here to like a, a pit of death for the zombies, you can have them turn around instead of just going down because you can't control the zombies otherwise. So we'll turn this guy into an Overlord right... Oh, he's, he's done. He's going down. But next guy over... Overlord, have them turn the zombies around. And now they go up the stairs and we're done. Scientist man is going to stay alive for a while. It's a bit of a heads up. And that's all we needed to do. Exit on out of here. Okay. Keep running, scientist man. So let's break this door down. This right here is going to actually crumble under the weight of certain zombies. Sometimes it's like one, two... But for this one, there's no requirements, so just one zombie would have basically done it. Now over here, um, as you can see, he basically opened up the door, so we're going to kill ourselves. Not on my watch, my friend. We'll use Overlord Man, turn everybody around, and break this down, should give us our platform again, and then these guys are basically boned. And if I'm correct here, this is going to be the Sacrifice Tool. Now, the Sacrifice Tool is used for our DNA. You probably noticed that we're actually turning people or zombies into Overlords, just willy-nilly. Uh, that's actually used with the DNA, which is something we'll learn about here. Um, this is April Fox with another breaking news update. Observers here have seen certain infected individuals spontaneously combust in a ball of green flames. We're not sure what this means, if anything. If anything changes, you'll hear it here first. April Fox, ZNT News, your trusted source for zombie news. Alrighty. So, this is a way for us to get rid of Overlord, for instance, because since he's telling the zombies to go back left, there's no way for them to actually get through him anymore, so we go ahead and sacrifice him. We get some DNA back to actually mutate other zombies and also get him out of the way. And there is that right there. Into our next level, I want to say. Yes, Dead Lab. Create an epidemic and kill 25 humans. Drug addict, find the secret drug stash. I want to say this is going to be... Yes. I... No, 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 no. We've, we've done this level before in the demo. The level after this one's going to be pretty new, I'm pretty sure. Pretty new, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you heard what I said. There goes Scientist Man running away. Now, you're probably noticing this over here. These will be mines, which my man over here is going to actually activate. So we want to make sure our zombies don't walk through this because they'll go kaboom. And zombies aren't quite kaboom proof, you know? Now, we have no mutations at the moment. We have a couple of overlords and a couple of sacrifices as well. We have two humans over here. One of them does have a gun. If we let our zombies continue moving, they'll actually go over this little area and then be stuck. So we're going to go ahead and make an overlord right now. Have them turn zombies around that way. Break down this door. And here we go. Might lose a Zambro or two. Now luckily, we can lose zombies for this mission. What we're looking to do is actually find a secret drug, uh, drug stash. Which, I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure if I know where that's at. I see blood up here, oddly enough, but... Secret drug stash. Is it that down here? Hmm. Well, I mean, I, I know how to get that out before. I've done that before, so I'm not sure if that's the secret drug stash or not. All right, so with those guys done, let's go ahead and sacrifice Overlord. Break down this door. Um, I guess we'll go upstairs first, right? Yeah. 
Now over here, as you can see, this is one of those platforms with a weight limit. Three zombies or more will send this crawling on down, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I do want a couple of Zambrils for the lower floor. Not through here, but obviously through this side, because if we go down this way, I could trigger these humans to run through the mines, blow them up, and we'll definitely get in here. However, on the flip side, if we land from above, these humans won't get away and we'll be able to kill them as well without them running away from this door. So I guess we'll just actually hold off on that one now that I think about it. Over here we have a couple of people with guns and melee weapons, so that could be pretty bad. Maybe we do send a zombie down through here, but we use them instead to ambush from the other side. Okay, I'm over here just thinking strategy at the moment. Now this is going to come crumbling down. Is that something I want to do just now? Yeah, actually we do, because this will crumble down under one zombie. So let's have them break this down. But we have three humans over there, so let's go ahead and make one of you an overlord. And deal with these people on this side. There you go, cool. Now as long as I don't break the doors, we'll just hang out here for a while and that's perfectly okay. Let's get rid of you. And here's where we start thinking about this. Melee, gun, gun, melee. I'm gonna say we break this door down, we send maybe a couple of Zambros down below, like two or so. Not too many of them. I think that should be enough. Oh no, 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 not the entire batch of them. Alright, we'll send you guys. Two is gonna be more enough for the guys down there, I'm gonna say. And now we have one of you, excuse me, one of you conduct traffic down that side. Okay, cool. Now you guys deal with the humans down here. And let's go into fast speed here momentarily. They'll run off. Keep doing it. Keep running. Keep running. See what happens to you, you numbskulls. <laughs> They're fucked. Oh, no good. Now, as you can see, we have an issue. We only have two zombies. Um, one of these guys going to have to be turned to an overlord. As a matter of fact, should have probably sent like more than one zombie than I think about it. But whatever. You turn around and have your friend turn around. Otherwise, he'll blow up here. And I want him to go over on this side, break this door down, come in through here, break that down. Oh, this lady needs to not open up that door, otherwise my ambush would not work. Alright, you guys turned to zombies too, I forgot all about that. You know what, you're gonna blow up, so I might as well just sacrifice you for the DNA. Alrighty. Um, this worries me a bit now. I think we'd have to kind of like triangulate our approach here to some degree so we attack on both sides at the very same time. Um, we need more zombies down on the other side for that though. So how about sacrifice you? Mm, I guess that'll have to do. You here. Excuse me. Let me zoom in. Sometimes the, the clicking can be a bit sketchy. I know I should be able to at least grab one of you. I just saw a highlight momentarily there for a second. Come on, come on. Come on. Zooming out completely isn't working. Well, I didn't want to lose that many zombies for the this side for us to attack, but we lost more than I really expected. Okay. So the left-hand side is going to be a bit more weaker of an attack now. Break this down. Oh, that lady went upstairs. God damn it. You know what? That's not a bad idea. Let's actually load up on people from this side, although that guy's got a gun here. That could be problematic. Okay, no gunman, stay in there. Just stay in there, you jerk. Now, you attack through this side. Don't go up the stairs for now. This will load me up on a couple of more Zambros. You guys will go up. You guys are hanging out over there still. Alright, so. With that done, I have enough Zambies here to attack through this side, and you guys will be ready for this attack, so... We now... break open that door. No, not all of them. Get one? Ah, <laughs> you piece of shit. Alrighty, that's fine. We have the bigger badge coming up anyway. Now, don't lose all of them. He's got to reload at some point. There it is, we got it. Now, we do not deal with everybody upstairs just yet. I want to get rid of these scumbags over here with all their weapons. So we go back downstairs, I'm going to say, and I want to deal with this scenario on this side. Okay. It's going to be a really, really tricky assault mine because I have to time this out pretty properly. We might have to use another overlord on this side. Let's go forward here momentarily. Okay. 
You guys are kind of ready. We will do one overlord here. And you keep the zombies on this side. Okay. And now... We... Attack doors. Go. Yeah, I, I figure that side was going to get overwhelmed, sure. But the rest of it should be relatively fine, I hope. Zombie man's here's going to go down, so we might as well just sacrifice them. No, don't get all of them. They're reloading. We got it. We got it. Okay, perfect. Now, with this done, we need a... Uh, Overlord, send us over to the right-hand side. Perfect, okay. Now you, my friend, can't be sacrificed. And same with you, I'm gonna say. Cool. This is the really big trouble spot of the area. With that done, should be a lot easier. Let's go upstairs. That side, up through there. Mmm. This platform still hasn't been taken care of. We're gonna have to make an Overlord over here. Otherwise, we'll just come creaming back down. So, Overlord, one of them. You turn them around. Okay. No weapons up here. Actually, there's one gun. But technically speaking, one gun is not going to do much against like this entire horde. So we're done with our mission now. Here is where the drug stash comes into place if we want to get that. We require only one zombie to make it through here, so one of them is going to have to turn to an overlord to make sure we don't go careaming off of this. This requires five or more weight. Let's start bringing this down. Turn one of these guys into a Zambro. Sacrifice you. Now, I am unfortunately going to say we're going to miss out on these humans here now that I think about it. Because a gunman. Gunman's going to fuck everything up for me. Ah, I just realized that. We have four, five Zambros which will come through here. Um, one of these guys has to be sacrificing because we have... Oh, no, no, no. We have one, two, three, four... Let me sacrifice like that. Oh, that was five in there? No, there wasn't five. That was four. Ha <laughs> ha, you piece of shit. Well, that's unfortunate. We're going to lose it on that one. And now the big deal here, too, is that we don't have ten zombies, so now we can't even get through here to actually get the secret drug stash. So we actually just bungled this up completely. Yeah. I attack way too fast up here. I'm going to say is what happened. We attack way too fast. Uh, I need to kind of coordinate the attack so we actually got all the mob up here, and that would have enough to get the gunman over on this side. Without the gunman there, we'd have been fine. I could have sent only one zombie across to get Teal with those two humans, and then we'd have gone down through here. The ten weight come down through here, get our secret stash. That's unfortunate. I'm pretty sure you get the idea how to do that one, though. Just make sure you get that gunman before he runs through the goddamn door. you will be fine. So we failed that challenge, unfortunately, for us here. But with that, we're going to wrap it up here for this one. We'll come back next episode, and I'm pretty sure the next one's going to be a new level. So if you've been watching my old series, uh, next one's going to be something completely brand new, which I'm really excited about. I will catch you next time.